Sisini. Moms, I need your help. Okay, no, that, this is serious. Um, I feel like we've been talking about a lot of different mom-related topics lately off air and I want to pick your brains and I want to know what advice you have for me when it comes to traveling with infants, okay? I have twins, so it's just like I'm just so intimidated, really, honestly. Uh, we want to go somewhere this summer and we want to fly somewhere. We've not flown with the twins yet. We've done everything else. I've done a six hour road trip up to San Francisco when they were younger. They slept pretty much through the whole car ride. And we've done little, little mini weekend trips to Palm Springs, San Diego, but that's pretty much it. Um, we're thinking Hawaii or maybe even the East Coast. We're kind of just all over the place, but like I feel a five to six hour flight is our max. So that's kind of like where, we're, like what we're thinking. I know that because Aza and Maxon are under the age of two, they can technically fly, fly for free, which would be great. I would love to take advantage of that. However, like I'm scared. I feel like anybody who I talk to who has one kid, like my friend Bianca just flew out here from New York and she was like, it was such a game changer to have that third seat. She's like, I'm so glad that we purchased a third seat for him, even though he's under one and technically didn't need one. So everyone I talk to, they always say like, it's worth it to get it and just bring their car seat. Our car seat weighs like 27 pounds. So like bringing two of those, plus our luggage, plus all the baby gear, plus the babies, seems like a lot. Um, I did a little bit of research and I wanna know if maybe you have any suggestions that you know of a lighter car seat. Um, there's, I think one that's sold at Walmart that's anywhere from six to nine pounds, which is way better than 27 pounds. So I would love to get your advice on that. Let me know what you do when it comes to traveling on an airplane and if you recommend that we splurge and get the two extra seats for AZ and Max in so that they can actually be in a car seat on the airplane. My gut is telling me that yes, we should, but when I even like look at flights, it's just like, well, like this is, it's so much money. Like it's so much money, it makes me just not even wanna travel with them. But I feel like I can't be scared to not go on vacations because of traveling with them on an airplane. That's one. Two, I actually have a tip for you. So this is something that I learned at my twins class. And right now, my brain goes to whenever we enter a new room or anywhere we're at with the twins and it's not our house, my, my brain just goes to automatically like, what can they get into? What can they break? What is not baby proof? I mean, I, I feel like any mother goes through that. Well, a really good tip to do in a hotel room, because obviously you get in there, like I'll go in, I see like um, coffee table books on the coffee table, I go and I scoop those up, because the minute those kids get on those books, they're gonna start ripping the pages out. Um, the remote controls, I put those up. Any lamps, I try to either rem like move them or whatever. But a really good tip to do, and it's really easy to use, and then you can throw it in your purse, is to bring painter's tape with you. Painter's tape, like the blue painter's tape that you use to paint, just bring that with you and you can tape up dresser drawers, little like, like things that you basically don't want them to get into. And that's a major game changer. Hope that helps, but also I need your help. So let me know what you think I should do about this whole flight situation. Comment below and that's it. Until next time.